The price of a condominium is $180,000. The bank requires a 5% down payment and one point at the time of closing. The cost of the condominium is financed with a 30-year fixed rate mortgage at 8%. Find the required down payment. Find the amount of mortgage. How much must be paid for one point at closing. Then find the monthly payment excluding escrow taxes and insurance and the total cost of interest over 30 years. To solve for the required down payment, get the price of the condominium and multiply it by 5% because the bank requires 5% down payment. So for letter A, we have 180,000 times 5%. Write 5% in decimal, that is 0 0.05. So 180,000 times 0 0.05 is equal to 9,000. Letter B. Find the amount of mortgage. To find the amount of mortgage, we will have to deduct this down payment to the price of the condominium. 180,000 minus 9,000. That is equal to $171,000. So this is the amount of mortgage. Letter C, let's compute for the amount that must be paid for the one point at closing. When you say one point, that means 1% of the amount of mortgage. In this case, the amount of mortgage is 171,000. So we have 1% of 171,000. This is equal to 0 0.01. You convert 1% in decimal. So 0 0.01 times 171,000 of means multiplication. This is equal to $1,710. This is the one point at closing. Next is we compute for the monthly payment excluding extra taxes and insurance. So to compute for the monthly payment, we will just use the formula for the monthly payment that we had. So PMT is equal to P, this is the principal amount borrowed, rate over N, N is the number of paying periods in this case, since we're computing for monthly payment, N is 12. So you have one minus one plus R over N raised to negative NT. So let's plug in the information we have. So P is 171, 171,000. This is the amount of mortgage. The time is 30 and the rate R is 8%. Equivalently in decimal, this is 0 0.08. 0 0.08 divided by 12, N is 12 for monthly payment. 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.08 over 12 raised to negative 12 times 30. Let's input the information that we have on a calculator. 171,000 times 0 0.08 divided by 12 all over 1 minus parenthesis 1 plus 08 divided by 12. And then this expression will be raised to negative 12, so enclose it in a parenthesis, 12 times 
30, 30 years. Rounding this off to the nearest dollar, we have 1,255. So based on our computation, the monthly payment is approximately equal to $1,255. Lastly, we want to find the total cost of interest over 30 years. To do this, we will compute first the total amount paid for the loan. The total amount paid is just the monthly payment. Multiply this to the number of year and the number of paying periods. So you pay 12 times in a year. So it's 1,255 times 12 times 30 because you're paying for 30 years. Subtract the amount of mortgage. So this is actually the amount that you borrowed initially. You will get two hundred eighty thousand dollars